Wagwan, the Bamba Cloud Nation. <laughs> Yo, uh... So, anyway, I was recording some drums, and, I don't know, I just decided to record some, like, dub reggae drums, because I've been fucking with dub reggae a lot, and, shit, little white boys gotta get down on them reggae beats, let's go, um, anyway, so, let me just check the, uh, sample bit rate, cause blah blah blah, this shit matters, 24, 48, um, and then get this shit started, I'm actually gonna try to use the click this time, even though, a uh, fair warning, my fucking timing is a little sloppy. My whole intention was I'm gonna like mix it first in Pro Tools and then I'm gonna pretty much like drag it into Ableton and make loops. So it didn't, I just wanted to click when I was recording so that I would not be like making up my own BPMs. But I also kind of tried to add groove and I figured I would just add, like I'd line up shit later when I needed to. So we're at 130 as I remember. We recorded a couple, 130, 140, and then I think I recorded some shit at, like, 97. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just set up. Like, first off, fair warning, I am not a seasoned mixer. I mean, obviously, I produce, like, dance beats and shit, but, uh, you know, I mix that shit. But in terms of, this is gonna be me, um, you're gonna watch me just basically mixing my own live drums and kind of learning as I go, ya know, making my own beats and shit. So... First thing I'm going to do is load up them audio files. Let's see. And there they are. Uh, copy that shit in to the project. Don't need to do the sample rate conversion. Going to put that in there, yes. Want to copy it to the audio folder. Let me get a little iry. Um, But yes, yeah, so fucking new tracks. So anyway, um, yo, and by the way, I'm smoking some, like, 10-year-old weed. This shit is disgusting, but anyway, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, I like to go in and edit the clip heights just because I'm OCD, but also, like, it's good to start off, I feel like, with low le level signals. These mics we set up, um these overheads we set them up like this you know pretty evenly so i don't really and i don't like to fuck with that uh, the gain on those because you know like if i'm playing the ride i do want that side to be a little louder you'll see the differences there but i will pan those and those are right here i'll get to play in the track soon actually derp so overhead left uh, right and then uh i'm gonna group this shit Fucking command G that shit. O H. So now I can do that hole. And then uh also I'm gonna group this shit. So top snare. Uh pot snare. Shoot. Alright, I'm sorry I'm eating a fucking cough chalk coat. Just got fucking sick with some bullshit. Alright. And two kick mics. Um, which I'm grouping together as well. Um, actually not yet, because you know what? I might, um, edit their levels individually. Oh, fuck you. Oh my god, guys. Fucking retarded. Alright, here we go. Mm -hmm. And, yes, they are free again. So here's the thing. I haven't even played audio yet, but I like to get shit, like, just set up real quick. Real quick. A quick mix, man. Alright, I'm gonna stop with them. Big Patois accent. Yo, I'm, I'm just fucking around. If there's any Jamaicans watching this channel, I fucking love, love, you know, love everybody. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking before I get cancelled, and I'm not even a fucking channel. Your boy is high as fuck. So these are four Tom mics. Damn, you know what? I should, I should like, bust out the picture from, uh, from this day. I don't want any sketchy shit popping up, though. Let's see here. Okay, and it's in downloads. Porsche. Oh yeah, here it is. It's gotta be one of these. Oh no, these are just like pictures of washes, my bad. I don't have like drums in here, bro. Fuck. Fuck it. Alright, um. Anyway. Yeah, just ignore the fact that there's just pictures of rivers. I was actually recording reverbs at those rivers. So that's why there's pictures. I was gonna attach those to the uh, download page for those reverbs. But anyway, I'm gonna pan these toms real quick, just as a quick, like before I even start. Just so that there's some stereo. I know, okay, by the way, um, apparently in class recently, 
Um, to start a mix off, you're supposed to mix everything straight in mono, but like stereo definitely affects volume, so I, I'm just gonna do a general mix, uh, flat or pretty much flat, but with like a bit of you know panning. And let's just get this drums going. Boom. Oh yeah, so we're at 130. I guess that it should be lined up. Let's see. Okay, let's see what the click is. I told you, my beats are a little wonky, but I'm saying I was just going to go in there and fucking warp that shit in Ableton. Yo, I think I'm going to get a quick track. I'm still new to Pro Tools, fans. Yo, I think, yeah, you do this, bitch. You know, I, oh yeah, here it is. I'll turn it off, but I just want to hear the click. You can hear how off I am, it's kind of funny. Alright, I'm on point here, but yeah, I slipped slip the slide. But again, I was just kind of fucking with like, I also haven't played drums in a bit, but I'm giving excuses here, but it's like, again, I was fucking with trying to just get some weird rhythms, like grooves, and then I'll line up the downbeats later, it's kind of my attitude. There's like some points where I like, I get right on the beat, it's so funny. <laughs> and then like, I try to do some fill and it just like, falls apart. Yeah, no, alright, I'm gonna turn off that fucking click though, because that's not why we're here. I'm not tracking. I just wanted to kind of hear where I was on the beat. There's a couple things I'm gonna address now that I've just kind of listened to that rough mix. Again, I'm not a pro mixer, but like, I've played drums for 20 years and I listen to a lot of music, so like, I think I have decent fucking balancing on drums. And also, I'm kind of just trying to learn Pro Tools. And I'm just going to show you how I group my drums. I don't know. Is this helpful? It's kind of just me fucking around. But I might even add some fucking dub guitars to this. So let's see where we can go. Um, I think I'm going to start off with looking at the snare tracks. Because there's two mics on those. And, uh, you know, the top and the bottom. I want to make sure that they're either in phase or out of phase. And then fix it if they're out of phase. So bottom snare, top snare. I'm going to zoom in on, like... Oops, fuck me. Uh, dude. Yeah, there it is. And then, I don't know. Vertically. There we go. Shoot. Alright. So, what I'm looking for is more like around here. Yeah, so we are in phase. Like they're riding on the same fucking waves. So, um,. Those are in phase. I've also got a kick beater and a kick out track. So kick beater being obviously the little mallet thing. I can come up from here. Okay. And then the out is like the hole. It's actually a really dope kit. Uh, kit. It was a spawn. I used to have a spawn when I was fucking 16. I ordered that shit from California. Like, I don't know, they're from OC. Really good drum company. So it was pretty dope to actually play. Oh, this is a snare. I don't need to see this shit. Um, but I do want to see the kick drums. And this is before we start getting mixing. I just want to make sure everything's in phase. Kicks are good. All right. Um, and then, so, let's see. I want to hear the kick and the snares. Just kind of like what they're doing. Now let's get a beat up. Can we cycle that though? Oh, I think I liked it. I did like opposite cycle. You know, Pro Tools is like, it gives you so many options that you're like, I didn't even know that was a choice. It's kind of dope though. I'm fucking on my third coffee, guys. This is why I did this video. Too. What the fuck? How do I turn on cycle? Dude, I swear it's like every time I, I think I'm gonna do a video, I'm like, I'm gonna look so fucking like on point, but I think you select it. You select it from the timeline. Is cycle not enabled? Playback. Uh. Uh oh, oh, oh! I know I'm in the right area. Loop playback. Uh. So probably gonna get that kick lined up again, and then uh, I think it's like. 
And then I'm just gonna loop this because I don't I don't really need to listen to much, but let's just get the beat going from this. Alright, now we rolling. So this is where you really start the mix. So you go, oh you take everybody, dirt everybody. Actually, I don't, I'd have to group everybody, so I'm just gonna actually fucking do it one by one. Start with these kick drums. It's actually, so the bleed, if you hear that, is coming from the beater. So as you can hear on the beater, or sorry, not, not, that's the out. Derp. Guys, I'm a little high. Here, you can hear it. You hear like the hat, and you hear uh, snare bottom, or the rim, but you're hearing the bottom of the snare drum. And uh, I haven't figured out exactly how to solve this issue, because I really want the beater to pop through. And um, I think that my best bet is to, I'm going to try to EQ and isolate that kick beat real quick. There it is, right? I mean, so yeah, the snare, the snare it's kind of mostly hitting here. But when the, I hit the actual snares, they can kind of pop through here too, so uh, you got to be careful. And what I've learned about mixing this shit is like, you're mixing the kick beater, but you're also mixing the snare. Unless I'm gating it, but I've tried gating this, and it's, it's it picks up. It either like excludes the kick drum beater, or it picks up the snare still. And I guess that's maybe the way I mic'd it. I'll learn. This EQing is terrible right now. Let me just. That's just. All right. Nah. I still want some of that low. Because I only had two mics on the kick apparently ideally you can have like you know fucking one inside as well i want to get this tone nah hmm wait so this is hold on i'm not gonna eat kids forever but i'm just finding those sweet spots of the kick oof right there all right so i'm gonna So you see that shit's overloading like crazy. Um, honestly, so this is what I would do first. I, like, I just have my own little mess. Just peeking like crazy. I'm gonna bring down the level in general. I'm gonna try, can I try to use a gate? Here's the thing, so let's try it. And then, there it is. See what I'm saying? So you isolate the, the fucking hit. Yeah, I come from like making, you know, dance beats and I'm like, I, I don't want to hear any other drums. See what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. Perfect. Actually, it's funny. I was like, I can't figure out how to gate this shit. And I guess I just did. But I'll tell you what, it might have been using the wrong plugin. I was using like kilohertz. I'm not even gonna lie, these Pro Tools plugins are pretty sick. Like they kinda just they kinda nail it like within the first few clicks I've I found with a lot of this shit. I'm new to Pro Tools guys, so I'm kinda like I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical guys. I'm just um but let's see, what else I got? I was gonna do like a little bit of a what do you call this? A transient shaping, so I, I want it to be peaky but also not clip. Because it's the beater, you know? All right, cool. But then I'm gonna bring down the gain again. Um, there's many ways to do this. Um, in fact, someone recently told me that, oh no, you're supposed to level everything with the uh, fader if it's not gonna be like something you're doing in the plugin for for gain staging between plugins. But I'm like, I'm OCD, bro. Like I actually like having my faders at zero the whole time so that when I get to the end, then I can start making those little adjustments, you know. But um, I was informed that if you do all your gain shit through here, it, there's like limits like it starts sounding bad if you try to push this shit too far so you gotta do a combination of faders and changing this the volume in the channel anyway add the t the outkick let's see what's going on on this one it's a nice ass sound <coughs> i'm actually sorry uh really impressed with like what we got out of everything um so if anyone is curious we used a <laughs> All right, I'll start with the kick out, which is what we're listening to, which is the hole in the front of the kick drum. 
and we used a AKG 112 D112, which is a standard kick drum mic, and it, it picked up, as you can tell, pretty good. I'm trying to find the Sound Toys EQ, and uh, it picked up good low end, like yeah, like I don't really need the highs, do I? Yeah, because it's all just cymbals, and I got the beater, and I got the overheads for all that shit. I don't need that. All right, cool. Uh, no. Eh? Now there's, yeah, because I want to have like two, di like two different layers. Yo, I'm actually mixing this way better than I mix it the other time. That's what I've noticed, by the way, which is because I'm still pretty much new to mixing live shit. Like, it takes at least a few mixes before I feel like, okay, it's sounding like legit. Hmm. Right. That's not sounding legit. I think the beat, the the bassier one needs to uh, fucking be a little louder. But anyway, now I think it's a decent level. I'm gonna group this shit because I want this kick to be a little lower, not have too much click. Um, I was telling you, so this kick bottom right here, AK was an AKG D112, and then this one right here, I group this shit, uh, was a SM58, the vocal mic because ran out of 57s. <laughs> but it fucking worked, dude. He basically just wanted a dynamic mic that was just gonna get that, like, like, the fucking... Which I just gated to make it even more poppy. So now this kick drum's fucking fire, bro. It's just, like, on point. I know I've just been editing a kick drum for, like, 10 minutes, but... Kick. Done. Let's listen to these snares now. Bring this bitch up. Actually, fucking... Alright, together. And find a balance. And this is the bottom, this is where the snares are. And then here's the top where I'm hitting. And this is just a rim part. So now, honestly, I think we should go to a part where I'm playing the actual snare. You know, I think I'm gonna get nailed the sound of the snare before I, I think then the rim will just sound fine. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, all right, like I want a decent hit though, you know? There it is, all right, so probably, where's this shit? All right, and then uh, shift command L. So I think it's Ableton is like, isn't it? Option command is just command L. So and then Pro Tools. It's for my Ableton friends who are like, what? What is Pro Tools? Um, yeah, no, that, this program's weird and really like advanced and has so many options. And like, once I actually get to fucking learn them all, I'm gonna be making like crazy reverb shit because. Reverbs require you to like really get deep down into the samples and like edit fucking by the sample like a millionth of a millisecond. But anyway, uh, the top snare. Oh, let me just. A couple things. I think that I could shape the tone. Because, I mean, the top snare is going to sound like that. It's just the top head. But, uh,. Let us see. You know, at the same time, the bottom snare is mostly snare, so I'm like, I want some meat in this, but I want to hear what's going on on the low end. Ooh. That was kind of loud for you guys, but hold on. Ooh. I kind of like that, because, you know, if you think about it, if you're pairing it with this, Oh my god, this, alright, sounds like shit right now. In fact, I think it's a little too long in the snares. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this shit. Because it doesn't sound like shit. I got it mixed right last time, but um, I'm gonna fucking reduce a sustain. For loud as well, so I'm gonna actually go right here and just do a quick gain on that bitch. Oh, fuck me. You know, there's a way to actually list these just by developer. I had that set up at one point. I think I should get that going again. I like mixing by percent, and Kilohertz got me into that shit. Because I'm be honest with you, like, I mean, you know, DBs work on whatever, uh, logarithmic scales, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, I don't think about sound levels on DB numbers, really. So it's like percentages have been working out for, for me. Yeah, alright, so, I mean, general balance between the two. 
I'm gonna spice these up because before we get to the other parts of the kit, I'm gonna really spice up the kick in the snare. Sorry, I got my windows open, guys. I live on a main street in Azusa. You're getting some Foley sound effects in this recording. Holy fuck. We just had the fucking Rancho uh, Mongols roll through. <laughs> ah, my LA peeps, you get it. Um, so, top snare, we were working on that, right? Oh yeah, this shit. So, I'm, this is a cheat for me. This is like, I use this in Ableton, and especially when I was producing, or am producing. Um, I just slapped this shit on, on a snare that's like, got a good tone-ish, but it's also kind of weak. Um, like, oops. But I want to smash that shit a bit. But also, this isn't like a metal. Alright, that. And then, while I'm here, I'm going to EQ it in. So, like. Oh, and then pro I do this weird EQ. Oh, fuck that shit. I do this weird EQ thing right That's kind of like my high shelf sometimes. I use bells. I don't know. It, it's it m There might be a rule against this. I might get, like, banned from the Audio Engineering Society for that one. Anyway, um, fuck me. Uh, <coughs> Jesus. Sorry, guys. I just got over uh, an illness, which means I need to um, ruin my lungs some more. Bumbleclad! Wagwan! Oh shit. I think my neighbors are like, the fuck? I think both, both my windows are open. So anyway, I'm sure this shit's recording. Alright, we good, we good. We good. So, alright, let's get to it. The snare. And let me just check the balance between both of them again. kind of funny I'm kind of curious like so as I made that one louder this one you know what that's what happened I'm fucking stupid this needs to come down to match that one how about this sorry I'm super meticulous with getting these levels getting these levels you know but once we move this, we're going to move fast, and then we're going to listen to the beat, son. And you're going to hear my off-time shit. I think I want this rim to pop a little more, kind of like that 311 Amber shit. Boom. Boom. All right, that's probably good. That's it. I'm done, bro. And then the thing is, I'm like hyper as fuck right now. I'm going to, these are already grouped, but what I'm going to do is I start routing at this point because I'm building up my drum kit. 1112 is snare. Kick. I'll put that right before it. At there. Fuck, I'm stupid. I'm just making a mono. Uh, snare is going to be mono as well. Like, I mean, I don't need to... And I'm just running through the same bus, which is going to be, obviously, 9, 9 11, 9, 10. <laughs> uh, sorry, I can't count. Uh, doo, doo, doo. So, this is how I build my kick, or my kit, as buses, before I fucking route that shit at the end. Uh, kick snare. And that's an audio track. That's not what I wanted to do. My bad, guys. I'm gonna aux track. It's kick snare, and then yo, we're gonna hit those toms because I want to make a group for them. Um, it's my aux nine ten, and the way I do that, I'm gonna route that to the pre. So twenty three twenty four, which goes to the output. Just a little stream goes on down. Oh shit! It made it stereo, but you know what? Did you know? Can I? Man, that was dumb. That was dumb. I'm gonna have to submix these real quick, real quick. Uh, mono ox, and that's gonna be kick. And then I'm just gonna make that kick snare the the tom group. Um, and then the snare goes to bus ten, and then the toms are gonna go to make this now. I don't know. Er. 11 and we'll deal with that in a sec uh so we got a kick and i'll bring these over there this is how i'm i just like seeing all the drums as their own uh you know like collections before it goes to the final mix and i will actually sub mix those drums down there so so anything that i have to combine their layers i mean i'll still keep them mono 
<laughs> like send these both to the pre and then uh, let's see yeah it's gonna be that one toms okay cool let's work on the toms let's get to the tom part real quick oops alright uh toms 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 down here some weird shit going on I know it did like a tom beat somewhere let's see what <laughs> fucking terrible rhythm right there but like I just kind of want to hear these things man uh like this, this basically these two I don't really see another part where I'm playing the toms a lot so just work on this too uh this and this one I'm not hearing any oh <laughs> rookie mistake man uh Okay, so that's that one time right there. Wait, that was, is that a hat? Um, you guys. So where can I see it? Like multiple toms though. Like down here, I think I found it. Shoo, uh, we got. Okay, <laughs> there's a lot of shit going on here, these toms. But. <sighs> oh my God, this whole track. Yeah, this is where I use the quick gain shit, bro. This, this is where you want to, like, even out your shit before you even get to the mixer. Oh, and now I'm actually going to drag this shit back. Oh, that's the hat. I keep thinking it's a tom, bro. And then this tom's too low. I don't know what happened with this mic. <laughs> like, I think we hit it a couple times by accident with the drumstick. It happens, guys. And we're also, like, not the greatest drummers. But there's parts of this beat that I am actually kind of down with. You'll hear Alright, uh, and then, oh, that's why I wasn't hearing shit, I was like, this, this channel's too, there's a lot of ring out on these toms too, and it's way too hard pan for sure, right, and then, I'd probably like, give it that image, and so Tom, 11, 12, I like to just throw everything in a group, because you kind of see the levels, as a stereo track rather than individual mono tracks, which is, you know what I'm saying? And then while I'm mixing over there, I'm gonna run it through something that it's just gonna glue it together a bit. Uh, this bitch, which is good on bassier shit. Right, um, fucking, and the density actually kind of compresses it. Snossages it, turns it into a sausage. Uh, so Tom one as well, let's see what's going on with this bitch. I'm too. Oh, yo guys, I'm sorry. I've just been on the on the right side. Dude, that that weed hit me. It shit's from like 1982. I'm really feeling the Jamaican vibe right now. All right, so I don't want to get too deep into the mixing, but we'll come back to this later. Real quick, though, they're too boomy, in my opinion. Like, again, I love I love toms. That these toms were huge. Like, I think the floor toms were both like. 20s or 18s, 220s, and uh, there's a lot of bass on that shit. So I'm like, this is what I do with bass lately. I don't, I don't know if this is correct, but yo, so I'll actually like shelf, and then I'll keep. Uh, there's a way to you know resonate, but I don't want this the subs to be too loud because we're gonna have sub on these loops eventually, like bass line. Right, and that's just Tom four, but I did just roll off the lows on that. So, if, and then I'm probably yeah I'm gonna do each EQ per. I could have done it on the bus, but you know what? Probably gonna each require different things. Even the high toms might be even a little a little higher. It works out, you know, like oop. that, and then this. All right, now we're gonna get to the overheads because I just wanted to get the toms balanced a bit. That's what I call balance. I typically run the hat in with the overheads on the same bus because I don't know they all consider, I consider them all the same thing to me. Uh, 21, did I send that to right, twenty one twenty two? I was like, did I just send that straight to the fucking master? But here we go. Do do do, do overhead and hat. Derp. Yeah, 
You see how I'm doing these drums though? Do 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 do. Uh, so I think that goes to outfit 23, 24, and uh, basically the top, the um, overheads are coming on 21, 22, and now we got a whole mix going on right here, man. So I like to, obviously the the rule of thumb is here's your, here's your kit, right? Well, here's your kit: kick, um, snare, right, and then. What I learned recently from someone who's way more experienced than me is that, oh shit, uh, is that basically your overheads are going to define like how roomy, whatever it is, not just drums, you know, whatever you use the overheads for. But it's not necessarily reverb, it's more like, it's like how close is the sound, how does it, how close does it feel? I, I like a live feel, but like also tight still sounds a little roomy, you know? Alright, let's get out of this loop. Bumbo clot. And now, I mean, while I'm here, I can just start doing some reverbs and chings. I, I really was trying to channel my inner reggae dread clot with this bitch. Um, I don't know if it worked, but still, it's kind of just for fucking around. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna send the reverb straight to the pre. Fuck it. So I'm gonna um, use a reverb I made because I've made like a million. <laughs> best of the best. So. Of course, you didn't hear anything because I didn't send anything yet. But I'm gonna send. Let's start off with this like snare, and I'm probably just gonna send the bottom first. Anyways, Oop. I haven't even made the bus assignment, have I? Uh, probably send it. To, yeah, let's do 15, 16. Now, if I do, it's gonna come in on just one side. Eh, yeah, maybe it didn't. Okay, I'm gonna obviously bring that shit down. I just wanted to get the get it set. Oh yeah, and then it's also good to add some pre-delay to your reverbs because so how it like adds a delay. You know, you don't want to be like too much, but I do kind of want this one to slap a little, little late because it is dub. And then um, I'm gonna bring that obviously down. Like, try it again. And do you want to add some like dub break? I want to do some like reverb throws, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, spring. Oh, that's an audio track. show you like reverb throws now I don't know how to automate them in with the MIDI controller yet but it's gonna be fun when I do uh, I think probably in let's, let's do this uh, this is gonna be perfect for this beat though check it out I'm gonna do it the top snare yeah my audio keeps cutting out because it's too fire man um oh shit and then the fucking spring is coming in on Let's do 910, and then Jano, I think it should definitely go to the pre-master, because I'm going to be doing processing on the pre-master, so you know. Um, anyway, Sprang, let's run it. Top snare. Now I got, I, oof! 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying. The dub, the dub vibes. It's fucking hot. That's so funny. I think it took. Yeah, it takes. It's taking the kick and the snare left and right. That's so fucking funny. We're actually gonna. I'm gonna try to do it as just like single hits that run through that. But that was what I was going for. The dub things, you know. Shit like that. Oh wait. Fucking computer's gonna explode. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, son. Um, oh, yo, so check it out. There actually is a way. I've already learned this shit. So I'm gonna watch the timeline, and then I think you just go to. Uh, shit, so this automation, I would just go to. I think it's latch. So latch means it stays where it's at, and then I pull it, and then it jumps back. Touch means it's, it, like, sits there, I think. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to do this. I don't want to see if it works. Obviously, clean that up. Oops. Oof, I like catching this like, like his little tails. Too much for my computer. Okay, so anyway, um, what's cool though? I think you can look at the. I can just watch it on the mixer. It'll do it. I'm gonna do another dub uh, sound, which is a plate. Hmm. Well, let's do plate. Uh, shoot. <laughs> Seven, eight. I haven't pulled on the volume on that bitch. Um, but oh yeah, let's do. Um, my computer. Okay. Uh, uh, I want to do like a drum plate. Is there like a. There, oh, I was like, I need a drum plate. Alright. So. Uh, Alright, and then. Let's just start it from here and throw some other shit on. Throw the bottom center on that bitch, which is gonna be on the other send. Alright, let's try it just from here. Let it run up. So read means just I'm done. I'm done automating from now. Oops. <laughs> I think that it's that's more ones I gotta do smoothly. But also, that wasn't it. I wanna do one a little longer, I think. Right, there we go. Some bullshit, man. I need some like some dubby shit, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm just choosing the wrong reverbs right now. This ain't working. Alright, I'm gonna try a big one, and if that doesn't do it, then fuck a plate. No, I'm just kidding. I think plates could work. Let's just Kind of way too fake, you know. And I actually have some like King Tubby fucking um, impulses, but it's just like I didn't want to like just go straight for the straight out of Jamaica shit, you know. But it's like I don't think anybody can really get that. Let's just see what um, Killer Hearts has. Maybe they got some like fuck. Uh, 
dirt, 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 factory. Like, um, fucking plates. And they gotta have some plates. You know, the search thing has been really shitty, I've noticed, in uh, Kella Hart's Convolver. So, I usually end up having to just do this shit. And, uh, oh, you know, I made this one. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Uh, watch this. So, <coughs> maybe I'll just pull this up up here because it does spring a bit. So it might be another spring. I'm not even sure, but we go and find out. There it is. Yo. Oh wait. I think it is kind of like another spring, but now it's getting that W shit. Yeah, if I really wanted to dub it out, this is what I was saying I was going to do earlier. I have this folder I've been just collecting at random ass samples from, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Jesus f Christ, there's some, like, some, uh, nice, uh, transient sounds for you right there. Fucking disgusting cough. Uh, drop one of these bitches in, right? Like, watch. Like, you know, I had it in the same key too. So the thing is, like, I'm gonna drop an audio track. Ah, oh, fucking, I think it's our mono tracks anyway. So let's find a let's find a beat to put it on. I mean, this shit is. I'm not on the grid exactly, but it is to a click. I'm just gonna drop that first chunk right there. Mm -mm -mm. Why would you put it on top of that one? And also, I didn't realize it was fucking stereo, so that's my B. You know what? I'm going to do this thing. I have this amazing fucking app called Shutter Encoder you should get if you do audio and video. But I use a shit ton for audio and, and video. But, like, it's useful for production. Um, I just need to split this shit. What is the bit rate? Well, the product's at 24, so fuck it. It's going to do that. Oh, fuck me. And then split that. You got to split that shit. All right, and then... uh. I think this one was like a stronger. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come in from the top. I think it's from the bottom or from the top. You get the hand. You get the hand or you get the. You know. And then I'm gonna. Like, the way I've been doing this shit is. And then come in with the hand, get rid of that. Choop. All right, and then you got a little fade. I don't want the, whatever the fuck that is either. So, um, I think I think I am on the right beat. I was trying to do the and. So, <laughs> uh, let's find a beat to actually put it on though. That makes sense. Oops, I'm looping like a second. Okay. Yeah, I went on that and so oh man it's so annoying because it's trying to select the fucking text okay so can I just come in with my hand and grab this shit because this text is so fucking large are you do I not do I have to do this it's fucking dumb all right anyway so that sounds amazing <laughs> That's that fucking and. <laughs> At first, that shit. Fuck that. Where's that? Oh, that's just too loud. You know what? I kind of. I just think it's a little bit too much, man. Both of these, all of these need to come down. Uh, I forgot. I can't do that unless I group it. And then, I know that sounds like shit, but I'm probably going to just, uh... You know, I'll put the reverb right on the channel because I want this guitar to, like, be in a room. I don't ideally usually, like, do, um, wet-dry versions of reverb, but, like, you know. It is what it is. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put it in just, like, I love Logic's reverb, so... Yeah, whatever, jazz. It's jazzy. <laughs> and 
then honestly, I will throw it a bit to one of those fucking. Uh, you know, I probably could use a delay throw. Uh, so I'll just do that. Shoot, do, do, do. Uh, auxiliary. Hillary. Um, so. Delay. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, fucking. Kilo Hortz. Kilo Hortz. I was, I was trying to do. I, I used to be able to do like this weird Russian version of an accent, but I'm really bad at accents in general, so forgive me on that one. Oh god, I'm so fucking high. Okay. <laughs> I love how I loaded up Convolver for delay, but you know, I'm gonna do a delay and then throw a little verb on it so it's dubbed out. Man, I think that. Uh, uh, Echo Boy by Sound Toys is one of the best for this thing. Uh, probably like, of course I'm looking for a dub preset, but in, also I would say, uh, I guess I'm looking for tape delay is kind of the sound of that dub shit. Uh, and with the chorus, yeah, and then. I don't want it to be that short. I want it to be like eighth dotted and then like yeah. So like, boom, boom. so like a whole note probably could be cool. Full mix. Full send. I trust their um, feedback settings for some reason. Studio tape. What other tapes do we have? <laughs> ooh, tube tape. You see? Oh, ooh, Memory Man. I think that could be like a fucking. Oh my god, they actually do have like probably. F <sighs> but I want, I want tape for sure. Uh, this is also a double. Let's try this one. All right. And so I'm gonna make the delay. You know, three, four. Uh, Send that shit to the pre. This one's also been running free, doing its own thing. I said uh, three. What did I say? Delay is three and four. So let's go. Oops, fuck this shit. So fucking three and four. Let's go, baby. <laughs> the the whole note delay is is a bit much. I realize now. Um, a dotted quarter and a dotted eighth. Yeah, it's kind of that's definitely the sound I was going for. I think I cut off a little too too much highs. <laughs> Excuse me, Jesus. F Christ. I'm sorry about that, guys. I you know I'm still recovering. I'm like doing a lot better than I was, but um. I'm good enough to make music, or at least mix it, right? So, the thing, this, I think that this isn't really the dub thing I was going for. That, that's definitely it. I think, I think what it needs, I'll just send it to one of the other verbs as well. So it kind of just uh, has a little space to it. What's cool is I think that I could throw another reverb on here, but I'm gonna actually use the, uh, let's try the um, sound toys. Is it only an effects rack? Oh, little plate, boom. <laughs> my computer's like, no. Ooh, that does sound nice though. See, my computer's doing that because I'm running a shit ton of reverbs and this is where I'm gonna have to free some shit down. But let's just go ahead and do that because my computer's gonna explode if I don't do this shit. Um, just so we can listen back and then actually listen to the whole drum beat. But I wanted to do exactly what I just did. I wanted to like get the mix going and then just throw in like a dub element. And I don't have time to add all the other shit, but like I just want to get the mix right. And that'll be it for this vid. I think that in terms of adding musical elements, eventually I would just do it all in Ableton and then mix that shit down in here eventually again. So this this would be where I just get the fucking stems to send to Ableton because I don't want to mix mono stems in Ableton. I don't want to do mixing in Ableton. I've started to realize like it's a superior for mixing. And if you don't believe that you're fucking wrong. Apparently. 
Jesus, that was that was fucking gross. I'm gonna leave that there just in case I want to hear how off I am as usual. Oh yeah, I forgot to put a fucking reverb on the guitar track and a uh, bunch of EQs, which probably don't take up that much processing power. But then again, like I am running video and bullshit, so we go on, you know. Tune it up, man. Make it run a little cleaner. Holy shit. I, you know what? I went a little crazy. I forgot what I did. That's why we kept having stops. Especially this black box shit right here. That was, you know... That's PC, right? Now, now it's not, right? So anyway, um... <laughs> fucking channel strips. This is whatever, but I just like to free shit when I listen back. So it just doesn't do that hanging shit. Guitar and I just add that wherever, honestly, if I wanted to through this beat, and then everything's on the grid, so it wouldn't be that hard. I'm gonna hit love, I just loops like a millisecond. All right, I'm gonna mix these drums a bit because they're a little raw sounding. It needs a bass line, right? It's like the bass player is like drunk and passed out, and you're like, yo, they started the song, bro. Um, let's see. You know, if so, this was my drums mix. They have this plugin in Avid, which is pretty tight. Sometimes I fuck it up using it, but it's just a big ass compressor. Just push that shit a bit so we can actually hear what's going on. Oh. So once you push that shit, though, I do find that oof, everything kind of gels together, but those overheads got lost a bit. Um, oof, and that snare is a bit much. I love that. I love how, like, oh shit, as you start mixing, you, um, you have to start readjusting the levels. You know, or maybe you just didn't notice earlier, because I was too busy fucking getting crazy with whatever the fuck I was doing. Wow, it's still hanging. And, um, those overheads, I did send them. Yeah, yeah, like, overhead and hats, what I call them. See how dry that shit is without them? But I think, now that I've compressed the shit out of it over there on the right, I could bring them up, but I'm actually gonna ease off a bit. I guess it sounds like nice smash, but this isn't rock, so I'm trying to go for that dub feel, a little dynamic. And then it still catches those verbs and shit, so they're not just like splattering in your. Yo, the audio cut out right here, but I just pretty much dub it out from here. Um, thanks for watching, fam. Peace. Yo, the audio cut out right here, but I just pretty much dub it out from here. Um, thanks for watching, fam. Peace.